Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-October 2023 or whatever year it is. Uh, we're just going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this serendipity card and this co-create card. I love this card, um, this serendipity card. You know, she's kind of being lifted up by a four-leaf clover. So it's kind of like a very lucky card. It's a card of being in the right place at the like at the right time. And uh, yeah, this looks very lucky, you know. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel like this is your lucky moment. That's what I feel like saying here, Pisces. Like there's something that you need to commit to with that seven of wands. Um, but if you do, I feel that it will be very lucky for you. It looks, you know, already without even getting into the reading, uh, I would say it's connected to your purpose right here. You have the star in the judgment card. Look, at you have two fish cards as well. You have this fish card. You have this koi fish card. Um, you know, fish are symbols of like luck and abundance as well. So, um, you know, I kind of feel this is connected to your purpose, mostly because these two cards right here, like I said, star and the judgment card. And so, um, you know, if you're thinking about you know, working on something like a project or your business or whatever. Uh, this looks very good to me. It also looks really good for love. Um, you know, now <laughs> you have the lovers, the Knight of Cups here. And so, you know, there could be like a very good connection coming in for you if you want love. Um, and but but the one thing that I think really stands out to me in the middle of the month here is you uh, not necessarily committing to love. I mean, it could be love, right? Um, but I think it's more about you, again, committing to your purpose. Again, I really feel like saying like now is your lucky moment or something like that with the serendipity card. Um, you know, I, like on one hand, I do feel that it's important. And sorry, this looks off to me. Let me just fix that. Um, you know, uh, on one hand, I feel this is kind of like saying, don't wait around. <laughs> like whatever you're thinking about doing, it's almost like you need to, you know, kind of lock this lucky moment into the universe. And uh, this could just be through taking one tiny little step towards your goal, wish or dream or whatever you're thinking about doing, which I feel like I've said to you a lot recently. But, you know, again, I say it for a reason. Like I wouldn't just be like, oh, Chris repeats himself. I would be like, oh, I, I need to go do this instead. Right. Um, so I can stop repeating myself, please. But there you go. Uh, you have this seven of wands here. Again, I do feel that commitment needing to commit to, to one thing. We even see it here. You go Knight of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is like committing to the journey. You know, Knight of Wands is the builder in the tarot. I look at him as like the true builder. If he doesn't know how to do something, he just builds it. <laughs> he just finds a way. He embraces mystery as well. We'll talk about that in a minute. But, you know, I really feel this is saying like, you don't need to know all the details. All you need to know is that something is going to be very fulfilling for you uh, with the Ace of Cups and very lucky as well. Um, but you have to commit to this lucky moment that's coming in for you. It could be like an offer with the Ace of Cups. So, you know, this could be like a person making you an offer in work or business. Um, you know, I kind of feel like just things falling into place a little bit easier as well. Like, let's say you have a business or you're thinking about starting a business that will involve customers or something. It's like, again, things are never going to be perfect. But for the most part, it's like if you try to get new customers, do you at least get one, right? It's like things just feel like they have a little bit more of an encouraging flow. Let's put it that way to them. So things are moving in the right direction. I do also feel... Uh, that there could be a love offer here uh, coming in for you if you want love. Uh, you have the star. And again, the star was like my first clue that this was more, um, you know, this was more a part of your purpose. You know, that was my first clue. Then obviously you have the judgment card, which is a card of your purpose. And so, you know, again, the star is about having a North Star. The North Star isn't necessarily a purpose, but it kind of is, <laughs> you know, having a North Star is having that one thing that you work towards. Uh, you know, that one thing that uh, motivates you to action in life that you move towards. And so I feel it's like time to get moving, um, you know, as always. I think I said this to you last reading as well. Yep. With the Seven of Wands, you have this assertion card. This is the sun in Aries. And, um, you know, again, I do feel like you, I definitely get that feeling on that Seven of Wands of like really needing to be assertive, really needing to, um, you know, conquer something that's getting in your way or um, something that is, um, you know, kind of like, uh, stopping you from moving forward. I really feel you need to be like more confident that you're moving in the right direction w with whatever this is. Uh, with the Ace of Wands, uh, sorry, Ace of Cups, you have this defense card here. Some of you I feel are, are a little bit defensive in love. Um, you know, again, I would open up if you want it, you know, obviously. So, you know, this could be you trying to protect yourself, which makes sense. But, you know, again, I, I really feel you're moving on to a brand new chapter. I don't think like love is a major focus here, but let me just say that if you want love in your Pisces, I really feel you're moving on to a brand new chapter of love. It, I mean, it shows up in your astrology Pisces just in general. So, you know, it wouldn't really surprise me 
if you're entering into like just a better time for love. And I feel like that's saying there's no need to be like defensive. You know, I think there could be something really good. You have this companionship card showing up here as well. So I kind of feel two things. Um, By the way, I don't know if I said this, but this is the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, if you're wondering uh, what deck this is. <clears throat> Number one, I do feel there could be a companion uh, coming in for you in love. Number two, um, I feel that we see a lot of cards of co-creating. You have that co-create card. I mean, now you could be attracting love where you end up working together. I mean, you go up to lovers here. Um, I also feel that, you know, you could just be attracting like a business partner or just, um, you know, this could be anything. It could be like a lucky break, um, you know, kind of like a person who wants to help you, you know, just give you ideas or whatever. And I would trust those things because, again, it looks to me like the universe is trying to, you know, I really kind of feel the universe here is trying to match you up. We see a lot of people here. King of Swords, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, uh, Page of Pentacles, Hermit. You know, there's like a bunch of people here, which is telling me that the universe is trying to match you up with like people, places and things that can help you, guide you, whatever. Uh, next, you have this uh, fish card that says, pay attention to your dreams. I do feel your dreams are almost prophetic at this, like right now. So I would be writing your dreams down. I don't know about anyone else, but my dreams have been crazy lately. And, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's like the COVID fever dreams or if it's uh, actually, you know, kind of like something. But I don't know. They've been more you know, about, you know, about things that are actually going on. So, um, I don't know. I would be writing your dreams down and things like that. You have a sea turtle. It says, slow down, be patient and persistent. I really feel that you, persistence is the key for you, Pisces. Just not, I know, I mean, you know, just not giving up. Um, you know, I always say that Pisces really has that little engine that could type of energy. And that's what I would be embracing here is that, that energy of just, um, nothing being able to stop you being unstoppable. Um, just really kind of going for the things that you want to manifest and, um, not slowing down, just keep moving forward. It's like eventually, you know, if you're going, you're going to get to your destination, uh, you have the King of Swords, the, um, the Knight of Wands and the Judgment card. Uh, the King of Swords, I feel, is like you. Um, I've been saying this to you for like years. <laughs> I feel like this is your the energy that you are embracing for whatever reason. I've been feeling this for a very long time for you, Pisces. Um, it's like you're in this very like wise, discerning place. But it's almost like, again, I keep having this word like locked in, um, popping into my head. It's almost like you're locking this energy in where you're coming from a place of like knowledge and wisdom. You know it's like, it's like, you know, as always, I think Pisces knows things before they know things. <laughs> and, uh, but it's like now there's a difference. I feel you're trusting it. It's like, you're trusting that you know things before you know things. And I feel like that trust is making you more successful. Uh, you have the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Wands is about going on an adventure. So I do feel like there could be some sort of adventure uh, that you're going on here with the Knight of Wands. And again, it's something that you have to commit to. Uh, it's like whatever your purpose is or whatever, whatever you are feeling drawn to do at this time. Uh, I do feel like there could be love coming in. Could be water, earth, fire. I mean, you have basically Virgo. You have everything here. So, you know, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Aries. You have everything, literally. So, uh, you know, it could be any sign. But the Knight of Wands, I feel, is about, in this reading here, I think it's about embracing the mystery. He has the, these three pyramids right here. And the pyramids, they represent mystery. And so the Knight of Wands, he doesn't just say like, oh, I don't know about this person or this situation. He goes and finds out. He digs into the mystery. So I feel you need to dig into mystery. Uh, you have the judgment card. I feel like you need to stop doubting yourself is what's popping into my head here on the judgment card. It's almost like you're getting very clear signs that you're supposed to be doing something. Um, but then I think... Um, things happen in your life and you're like, oh no, this means I'm not supposed to do it. But really it's like you're getting more than enough. It kind of reminds me of why I tell people not to read tarot for themselves, right? <laughs> I tell people not to read tarot for themselves because they pull cards, they don't get the answer they want and they pull more cards and then they keep pulling more cards and more cards. It's almost like I get this feeling here, I don't know, uh, uh, on the judgment card, it's like the universe has already shown you that something is going to work, but you're creating doubt is what I'm getting here. That's not even what this represents. But again, I read intuitively. So, you know, that's what I get here. And so I feel like this is saying, you know, uh, maybe you're thinking about your business idea and you're seeing repeating numbers, or maybe you're thinking about a person and you see repeating numbers, or you get some other sign or symbol. I think that's all you need. This is like saying, stop asking for more, <laughs> get moving towards the thing where you're already getting signs and symbols that it's going to work or that it is working, right? And with the King of Swords here, you have this organization card. Yeah, I would stay organized. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I would make sure that you're doing things in an order. I would make sure that, um, you know, that you are 
uh, kind of like working on one thing at a time and not trying to multitask. Um, you know, I would really kind of give important things in your life that dedicated focus is what I feel like that's saying. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have this egotism card. I would be careful of anyone who has an ego. You know, you've been dealing with like a past person here, um, you know, for a while that's been coming up. Could have been someone who's very inconsistent. Um, I kind of get the feeling here, you know, that it could have been a person who, you know, kind of like blamed you for things that they did. So, you know, uh, plain and simple, if you have that person in your life, judgment, you know, could be a person trying to return. Uh, again, I've been saying to you for like months now to be careful of this person. So there you go. With the judgment card, yes, because there's something new coming in for you here, something um, much better. You know, this is my fancy couple card right here. <clears throat> so it could be a very solid connection that's coming in for you uh, if you want love. Uh, if you don't want love, I would just say it is a person. We see a lot of teamwork here in this reading. So there's clearly a person or people <laughs> that want to help you be successful. And I would let them help you be successful because you know they're because when you let them do it, then they are part of your success and you create more abundance, plain and simple. Uh, next, you have this koi fish spirit says there's always enough. You have this dolphin spirit that says this and that are true. <clears throat> Sorry, um, I do believe we're in a time where, you know, both things are true. And so I think that your mindset is going to determine how successful you are. Uh, if you think something is going to be a great success, then it will be. If you think that it's not, then it won't. Uh, plain and simple. That koi fish spirit is also uh, very lucky in this deck. So we see a ton of luck. It's really like luck is on your side. And I really feel you need to believe that as well. Uh, you have the Lovers, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Obviously, there could be a new Knight in Shining Armor uh, coming in for you here. Um, I feel like you're very picky uh, picky right now. Um, is this a bad thing? I would say no. I, I think you've learned your lessons, Pisces, as I've said to you before. I feel like you're much more, um, you know, I don't know. I feel like you're much more specific about what you want. I even feel like you've been tested recently, you know, for some of you where it's like maybe a person came in. Um, and it, again, if you felt like they weren't right and you stopped talking to them or whatever, I feel like this was a good, good on you. So, you know, uh, it's just popping into my head that some of you recently had a test could have been with an Aries or um, a Taurus or um, Libra is standing out to me here. It could could be any sign. doesn't matter. <laughs> could just be a person. And, you know, I feel like you kind of like passed the test here. So, you know, there's something divinely guided coming in for you. There, this angel is divinely guiding these two people together. And again, you have the Knight of Cups, which would be a knight in shining armor. Uh, could be, you know, again, water and earth stand out in this row. You know, take it how it resonates. Could be any sign. But, you know, definitely could be a person who sweeps you off your feet. Uh, for those of you working on a purpose or your dream, you know, I always say he needs to plant seeds in this field or in these in the sand in front of him because it's like he could manifest something great, but he needs to like really put in the work. He needs to kind of get to work here and make something happen. And, um, you know, I feel like that's what's going on here is that this is saying like it's time for you to, um, you know, get working on a dream. He is a dreamer, but he ne he needs to plant seeds so that they grow. Like he needs to stop dreaming and put in the work. Uh, if you don't know what to do, I feel like you need to educate yourself. You have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is about learning. You know, he's a card of like studi studiousness and learning as much as you can. Uh, I also feel there could be communication coming in for you in love. So again, if you want love, I feel that you could be communicating with a new person uh, that really helps you out here. So uh, that looks good. But other than that, I would just learn as much as you can um, at this time about like whatever it is that you're doing. So uh, let's see what's going on here with the lovers. You have this concentration card. Yeah, I'd make sure that you're not that your concentration isn't being ruined here <laughs> as well. So it's like if you're meeting a person, you know, make sure you're not getting with a person who uh, takes up all your you know brain space. Make sure you're giving yourself enough time to work on the things that you want to work on in life. Uh, plain and simple. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have this enthusiasm card. You could be attracting a very enthusiastic person. We see that. Uh, Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, both very enthusiastic. Uh, so I feel I feel that. I also feel you need to follow your enthusiasm. I say this to you all the time. I, I mean, really, I think we're in a time where everyone needs to follow their heart, but also their enthusiasm. Like if something is exciting to you, a new idea, a new business plan, whatever, um, you know, a new health idea, whatever it is, doesn't matter. I would just start working on whatever it is because it's probably your higher self or it could just be your heart telling you to do something. And the lovers, they are guided by their higher self. Again, this angel uh, right here is their higher self angel. So it doesn't matter if this is love or business or anything else. It just says, make sure to follow your enthusiasm. 
With the Page of Pentacles, you have this generosity card. I feel like you're attracting a person who's very generous, very giving, um, very much giving of their time. The opposite of the Knight of Wands. You know, again, I feel like you are with a person who it's almost like they, the energy I get here is that <coughs> um, they kind of like create what they're afraid of. <laughs> so it's almost like this person is like afraid of being cheated on. So they cheat on people first, and even though they they are cheating on a person who would never cheat. It's like they create these self-fulfilling prophecies for themselves where they basically are ruining their life. So, you know, I feel like you could have been dealing with a person like that who just like, they wouldn't give to you because they were afraid that you would stop giving, um, but they just created that because they never gave in the first place. So, you know, again, I would be very careful. I think you're getting the opposite is what's popping into my head here is like, you're attracting someone who is much more the op complete opposite. I think you'll notice it right away as well. Uh, finally, in the area of the good stuff, you have this happiness card. There you go. It says things are going to be, are going well and feeling fulfilled in life. Go after your dreams. The universe is giving you a big yes. This whole entire reading, I basically have been saying that. So there you go. It's time to stop dilly-dallying here, Pisces, and put in the work. Now you have this card that says, you will break free from all that no longer serves you. Yes, big time. Big changes coming in for you here. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. I mean, you have this hermit, four of pentacles, in the five of cups. Hermit says you've been through like the dark night of the soul, and now you've climbed to the top of this mountain, and you are shining your inner light. Um, you know, I still feel like you're holding yourself back a little bit. He's got this star in his lantern here and you have the star showing up here. So, you know, I always say he needs to like reveal his star. He needs to blast his star out all over the place. And I kind of feel that for you where it's like saying you need to share your inner voice or you need to share your ideas or your plans or, um, you know, it's almost like you need to present your ideas to the world. I feel like you're going to be much more successful than you think, which I always say to you, it's like, it's like you're downplaying your knowledge here. You know, it's like if you are thinking about going and asking for a raise, you might be saying I'm not worthy or whatever, but it's like you are. Um, same thing if you have a business. I feel like you're saying like, oh, I'm not, um, you know, no one is going to like my ideas or my business or whatever, but they will. It's, you know, I really feel you could be downplaying your, your kind of like abilities here. And so don't do that. Uh, you have the four of pentacles. Again, this is showing up in the good stuff. So I feel like you will be uh, stabilizing your finances or you are stabilizing your finances. I feel like you're working on, you know, that's what you're working on is like financial stability, uh, long-term success, and it's definitely coming. You have the five of cups, which would normally be regrets and sadness. But, uh, you know, again, in the area of the good stuff, I would say that, that this is a card of gratitude. I think there's a lot going or there is going to be a lot for you to be grateful for. I feel like you're done grieving something and you're like seeing these two cups, which leads to this bridge and this castle. Again, because it's showing up in the good stuff, I feel that you are um, kind of seeing just how abundant you actually are, just how abundant you can actually be. And this card kind of shot out there. You have this isolation card here. Yes, with the Hermit, you are isolated. And that is Saturn and Virgo, by the way. Um, so, you know, again, I feel like some of you maybe are feeling isolated. Uh, and you need to come out of isolation. It kind of makes sense, um, you know, with Jupiter retrograde where, where it was for you, Pisces. You know, some of you could have been feeling isolated. You know, as, as we move forward through the end of the year here, you might find yourself socializing more, um, you know, getting out there more and, you know, all that. Uh, you know, especially as Jupiter picks up steam and starts moving forward again, then, you know, when that happens, then I feel you'll kind of feel that. Uh, with the Hermit, you have this achievement card. What do you know? Uh, this is uh, the sun in Capricorn, and you know I feel there are a lot of achievements. Literally, um, being at the top of a mountain in the tarot is an achievement. So there are clearly big achievements coming in for you. Uh, with the four of pentacles, you have this principle card. See, I think you stuck up for yourself here. Or you stood up for yourself or something like that, or you stood for your principles. I'm wondering if you were dealing with a person in the past who had no principles, no morals, and it's like, because you did the right thing, um, you know, you're being rewarded here is kind of what I'm getting. It's like that four of pentacles is normally a card of being stuck on something, but Again, it's showing up in the good stuff. So I feel like you kind of stood for your, stood, maybe it's like stand up for yourself, but I feel like you stood for your morals or your ethics. With the five of cups, you have this birth card. Yes, birthing a new idea. Um, you know, again, I'm telling you right now, I said it in your last reading. <laughs> if you're doing something new, it is going to be very, very successful here, Pisces. So uh, there you go. But we're going to pull five main themes now. And uh, you have this bird flying. It says news is on the way. I do feel like if you're like waiting for communication from a person, uh, this could be communication coming in. You have this mule. It says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change past person. You know, again, I would be careful if that person is delivering a message. I would just, you know, block and move on here, Pisces. 
You have this gavel. It says involvement with the law. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a legal matter. I, I want to see what this next card is. Um, what do you know? <laughs> you have the scales card. It says keep your life in balance. Yes, you could be balancing a legal matter out in your life is what I'm getting. Uh, you have this bird perched. It says waiting for news, package or letter. Clearly, you have two cards of birds. So clearly there is communication or messages coming in. You have this mountain. It says major challenge to overcome. I feel like you've reached the top of the mountain. You have overcome whatever that challenge is. So if you've been challenged for a long time, I feel like you are get you are at the top of the mountain. You have accomplished what you need to accomplish. You are standing out. You are kind of like overcoming the things that have held you back. So love it. Uh, you have this success card as well. So clearly there is going to be success coming in for you. But this looks really, really good here, Pisces. So thank you for being here and really appreciate it and definitely enjoy your month.